Hey guys, welcome to Squadron TV. My name is Brandon Lowe, and today I have a new 350 skill uh, battleship from Trumpeter Models. Now, a lot of uh, a lot of people are wondering why are these factories doing all of these hypothetical kits? Uh, whether they are purely fictional, whether they were planned but never built, uh, some of them were planned and started but never finished. Um, whatever the case may be, they're, they're not real. They never actually served. Uh, they never saw war. They never even floated, um, most of them. Some of them did, but they never got finished. Uh, and there are certainly, in the ship model world, there's certainly a lot of ships that have yet to be produced in a kit form. And, you know, we all want those. And, you know, hopefully one day we'll get them. Uh, but whether you're a fan of this type of model or not, they do exist. There is an audience for them. Um, so, you know, it's here. Let's take a look and at least see what you get. Uh, now, this particular kit, the H-Class, uh, was a German uh, battleship that they planned a lot of these. Uh, they had a, uh, what they called their Plan Z or their Z plan uh, that was going to include uh, quite a number of these. The H-39, I believe, was going to be the first, and which raised a lot of questions uh, from our customers when I posted this up on Free Time Hobbies and, uh, and Squadron. The Free Time Hobbies customers, of course, being primarily ship modelers, I started getting a lot of emails because the box art on this depicts triple uh, main gun turrets. And of course, the H-39, and many of the others were planned with uh, twin 16-inch guns. So, uh, at the time, I, I didn't have very much information. This is all I had to go on, so I didn't know. Um, and I was thinking, well, perhaps we could produce a resin turret set. You put brass gun barrels in it, and you can do the triple. Uh, or, you don't have to do the triple, you can do the twin uh, by doing that. And, you know, I was thinking of all these options. But the good thing is... Uh, this kit showed up this week for us to uh, do a review like this on and uh, our shipment of these by the way will be here very soon and uh, Taking a look at the box. I had a couple of buddies up at the shop yesterday James and Kevin and uh, James opened it up and and made a discovery and then just a moment ago I realized that they actually have it on the box that the twin guns are included in the kit um, he pulled out the sprue and said, hey, here's, here's the answer to the problem. Uh, so you get both in the, in the pack. So you can see that they, you know, they knew what they were doing, uh, giving you the option for both. Uh, why they chose the triple gun version on the front. I don't know um, Maybe they're a fan of that design over the, the dual or maybe they're going to do another Version of this kit, which is basically the same kit with a different name different part number different box art You know how they do um, and if they do that, you know, so be it But you don't have to wait for that if you want to build the dual gun version so and there those are there's the duels and there's the triples so uh, like I said whether you're a fan of the the what-if uh, ship models um, you know you can skip this one and wait for the next uh, real ship if you like which uh, I hope will be soon um, but for now this is what we've got so let's take a look at it and see what you get in this box
So as you can see, it's full of goodies, uh, just like any other big 350th scale battleship model. Um, the hull is one piece, so doing water line on this one uh, will not be impossible, but it won't be just simple out of the box. I don't notice any internal marks as to where to cut it if you want to do water line. So if you're planning on doing water line, just know that you're going to have to measure and cut it yourself. Uh, let's see, the deck looks fine, uh, standard wood planking molded onto the deck. Um, myself, I like using aftermarket wood decks, so I do know that uh, wood decks for this are already in the works, and we hope to have them in our shop soon. So if that's what you like building with, those will be available. Um, lots of plastic, again, here's the, uh, the twin guns and the triples on the same sprue on the other end. Uh, so you get all that. Uh, what else do we have? Um, clear parts for the airplane for the back. And of course you get your little chain. Uh, photo etch is included. Looks like there are two frets full of handrails. And they look pretty nice. Um, other few little odds and ends on their ladders and whatnot. Um, and you got your two other frets with looks like cable reels and ladders and not too much, a lot of standard things. I am sure there will be super deluxe, you know, everybody calls it different deluxe, massive, super, uh, whatever detail sets that will be available for this for all of your extra photo etch, all of your brass barrels, your taper masks, all that fun stuff. I'm sure that will be coming down the line. The color chart gives you a couple of, uh, or well, gives you one paint example uh, for some pretty cool looking camouflage pattern there. Instructions are pretty much like what you would expect. Let's see, that's, uh, that's about it. Let's have a closer look.
And there you have it, the 350th scale H-Class Battleship from Trumpeter Models. Uh, it looks like a good kit, a fun kit. Um, I'm going to build one, uh, this one actually, and um, it'll be fun to think about what could have been and what would have been had these actually uh, seen the war. Uh, but go ahead and grab yourself one too. Uh, you can head on over to squadron.com or freetimehobbies.com if that's where you prefer to shop from us and uh, get one of these on order. We'll have them very soon and uh, have them headed your way. So thank you for watching and until next time, take it easy.